Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to improve our English. We are going to learn some adjectives we need to know. And for that, we are going to use the Bible as a tool to learn this. Subscribe to my channel if you want to keep improving your English. The first thing we are going to do is to read the Bible verse to practice our pronunciation. Here is a trustworthy, saying that deserves full acceptance. Why is Jesus coming to the world to save sinners, of who I am the worst? But for that very reason I was so mercy so that in me, the worst of sinners, why is Jesus might display his man's patience as an example? For those who would believe in him and receive eternal life, now the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, the honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. 1 Timothy 1:15-17. The first thing we need to know is what is an adjective in English. An adjective is a word that modifies a noun or a pronoun to make it more specific. A rotten egg, a cloudy day, a lovely lady, or a glass of water. Those are adjectives in English. The first adjective we are going to analyze is trustworthy. That means to describe something you can believe in. For example, your favorite newspaper can be trustworthy. They always bring the two. You only tell your secrets to a trustworthy friend. It's this job we need someone who is eternally honest and trustworthy. The second objective we have is full. That means something that's full holds as much as it can, for example, of a container or a space, holding or containing as much as possible or a lot. For example, if your glass is full of fruit beer, it's up the brim. No more fruit beer will fit inside it. This cup is very full, so be careful with it. My plate was already full. I tried to get in the cinema last night, but it was full. Don't talk with your mouth full, please. And now we have the objective worst. That means of the poorest quality or the lowest standard least good. The objective worst describes the thing that is the least good like the awful pizza, the worst we have ever had in our lives. You may have heard the saying, hope for the best but expect the worst. Well, if you get the worst, you know there is nothing more bad than that. He was the company's worst driver. It was the worst meal I have ever eaten. This was the worst moment of my life, she admitted. Now we have the adjective immense, that means very large in size, amount or degree. You might describe the ocean as immense, or your home world load, or the slide of cage you brought a Turk, leaving you a teeny sleeper. An immense amount of money has already been spent on the project. The pressure on the students during the exam time can be immense. Christ Jesus might display his immense patience as an example for those who would believe in him. We have eternal, that means if something lasts forever, or even if you just feel like it's going to last forever, you could call it eternal, which means that it goes on and on and will never change or end. The company is engaged in the eternal search for the product that will lead the market. You will to never stop your eternal arguing. Now, the king eternal. Now, we have the adjective immortal, living forever, never dying, or Kind, living or lasting forever. Immortal God, maybe my world is not immortal, but I will live for a while. Now the King Eternal, immortal. It is invisible, means impossible to see. The aircraft is designed to be invisible to radar. Its factoria are invisible unless viewed with a microscope. She was so unimportant in their lives that she was almost invisible to them. To sum up, we can say that today we analyze seven adjectives that would help us to improve our English. For example, trust, wealthy, fool, worst, immense, eternal, immortal, and invisible. Here is a trustworthy, saying that deserves full acceptance. Why is Jesus coming to the world to save sinners, of who I am the worst? But for that very reason, I was so mercy so that in me, the worst of sinners, why Jesus might display his man's patience as an example. For those who would believe in him and receive eternal life, now the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only God, honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. First Timothy 
Batman 1517. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to keep improving your English.